Hello and welcome to this session of test project. In this session we are going to learn about add-ons. We will see what is an add-on, how to install add-ons, how to use add-ons. We will also see a practical hands-on demo and then we will learn how to uninstall add-ons. During this session I will also share some useful tips with you. So let's get started. Hello and welcome, I am Raghav. You can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we will learn add-ons step by step. So to begin with, let us learn what is an add-on. In test project, we have all the features and libraries and capabilities that we require for a general automation and you will find all these libraries and features and capabilities in build. However, there can be scenarios where you need some very custom action or feature which is not already available in the default feature set of test project and in that case you can use add-ons. So add-ons are additional features or capabilities which are not present in the inbuilt set of test project and add-ons is like a collection of coded actions that you can use within your test and it will help you to get the capabilities that you require for your testing. So this is what add-on is. We have seen add-on provides additional features or capabilities apart from the built-in features and it is a collection of coded actions. Now when you log into your test project you will find a add-on section. Let me show you. I will go to my test project and I have already logged in and here you will find a section section of add-ons and if you hover over this you will find community test project account and installed I will click on add-ons and go inside add-ons section and here you can see we have the community add-ons all these add-ons are created by test project community and it is available to be installed and used directly and then under the installed section you will see all the add-ons that you have installed or if you have created your own add-ons you will find here under the my add-on section. So I will go to community and here let us see how to install add-on and here step number one is we have to log into the test project account and I have already done that and step number two is navigate to the add-ons section and I am already here in the add-ons section. Now step number three is we can browse or search for the add-ons. So here you will find a search box. Here you can search for the add-ons. For example, if I want to search for add-ons related to database, let me check if there is any add-on related to database and you can see there are some add-ons created by the community for database. So we have Oracle database, MS SQL, PostgreSQL and MySQL database and you can go to any of these add-ons and click on the add-on and it will show you the details and here you can see all the details all the platforms it will work with and the language used then here you will get some more details the actions which are available so when you use this add-on once you install and if you want to use this add-on these are the actions that you can use in your test cases so we have done step number three step number four is check the details and click on install so we can check all these details and then here is the install button. I will click on install and you can see now it is installed. So if I now go to my installed add-ons section here, here you will see this add-on is now installed and now I can use this in my test cases. So this is how we can install an add-on. Now let us see how to use add-on and for that I will take an example. So here I'm going to go to this website which is a demo website and here let us see I will uh, go to this file upload I'm just going here and here we have a file upload scenario so here I can click on this choose file and then browse the file and click on upload and the file should be available here now let us say to handle this kind of a scenario uh, in case we do not have an inbuilt feature I can search for add-on so I will again go to my add-on and go to community and here I will just search for file upload and let us see if we have any add-on created for file upload and yes we have found a add-on here I will go to this add-on and here you can see the details and these are the actions that we can use 
upload file to input element or upload file using xpath I will click on install so that it gets installed and now it is installed and now I can use it so I will go to my home page and here I'm going to create and record a new test under my web test project so I will go to this first web project and here I'm going to create a new test let us also see the steps so the first step is open the test recorder and for that I will have to create a new test so I will go and click on this new test here and this is going to be a web test I will click on next and here I will see this is file upload demo and description is optional I will click on next and here I have to select a web application so here this is the one I need so this I have already added this URL in the demo web pages I will click on next just in case you want to add it new you can just add your URL here and then save it I will go and click on next and now I will click on record and say start testing make sure your agent is running in my case the agent is already running so we have done step number one and here create a new step and action this I will show you in a moment so let us wait for the website to be up and yes it is here and this is our recorder window so let me just take this here and here we are on the website so I will first click on file upload link and this is getting recorded and now I will click on this choose file however if I check the description of the add-on I can just go to this element which is choose file or upload file button and I will press shift two times that is double press shift key so that it brings up this window and here I will click on actions and here I will search for the action which is coming from the add-on so if I just search for upload you can see upload file to input element this is coming from our add-on and I will click here and here we have got all the details and here I also need to provide the path of the file that needs to be uploaded so let us say I will just go and uh, I'll just create a dummy file here I will create a text document I will say this is demo one.txt and I can put something here I will save this let me also create a new folder I'll name it demo put this file inside this folder you can take the file from any location and I will copy the location of this file and provide it here so this is the file demo dot txt let me verify the file name is uh, demo one dot txt so I will say this is demo one dot txt and everything else is fine I will say create and you can see here it is uploading the file so let us wait and check and we should have our file coming here the file name should be displayed here if it is a successful upload and you can see demo1.txt is here now the next action is I will have to click on the upload button so I will click on upload and this is getting recorded here and you can see the file is uploaded here so I also want to verify this so I will go to this element and double shift press shift two times and go to validations and I will say it should contains the text demo1.txt so I will add the text here demo1.txt this will verify that the upload is successful I will click on create and it is done so we have done step number two we have also done step number three select the available action as per the add-on details and we have also seen this while recording we can freeze the element by pressing shift key two times and then we can select the action as per the add-on and we have also added the input parameters as required by the add-on action so in this case it was the path of the files which we have done so now I can close this window and our test is recorded I will go back to my test project and here is the recorded test file upload demo I will go inside the test and let me check 
so here we have all these steps recorded now I will run this and check so I will click on the run button and select the agent and browser and run the test so it opens the browser and goes to the element and this should now upload the file which should be available here let us just wait and here it has done and the click on the upload was very fast so let me just go and add some pause so that you can see exactly what is happening after uploading the file so here after checking this I am going to add a new step I will click on this plus button here and I will say this is a new action and I will say the action is pause so I just want to pause for let us say 3 seconds so it is in milliseconds so I will say 3000 here and say create and that's it I will say save and exit and run the test again so this time after uploading it will wait for 3 seconds so we can see everything is pass so here it has uploaded the file uh, and it is done but I think there was some issue let me go back to the test again and check and to see the results I can add it to a job so let me just come out of the test and create a new job I will say add job and I will say this is going to be on web next and I will say file upload demo and click on next and I will select the agent and browser here and create the job and here I am going to drag this test here file upload demo and now I will run the job so it has opened the browser gone to the application and will do a file upload now and again uh, now I can go and check the results so let me go to the results of this job and this test and here uh, actually there was a failure and let me see what's the failure so here step number six shows a failure and if I go here and see the details it is saying invalid argument exception and here it says file not found so here it is taking some fake path demo1.txt uh, let me go back to the test and check this this is step number six I'll go back to the test go to this step and here uh, let me copy the path again for the demo1.txt file which is this one I'll copy this and paste it here you can also take it from a parameter as of now I have hard coded I will save this save and exit and now I will run the job again so this opens a browser goes to the application goes to file upload and it has found the file and now it has also uploaded it is waiting for three seconds and now it comes out and now everything is fine and if I go to the report you can see everything is passed now and it is running fine and this is done so we have seen all the steps how to use an add-on and we have seen a demo now let us also see how to uninstall an add-on so to uninstall you can again go to the add-ons section here and go to the installed add-ons and go to the add-on that you want to uninstall for example if I want to uninstall this file uploader I will click on this add-on and now here you will find a uninstall link so click on uninstall now the good thing here is you will get a confirmation and if you click on uninstall it will show you if this add-on is being used so in my case it is being used in this test file upload demo and it is also showing me the step number where it is used so test project will show you this message in case you are already using the add-on you can 
choose to uninstall anyway and then I will click on uninstall and now it is uninstalling and now you can see uninstall is successful so this is how you can uninstall the add-on and this is how you can use add-ons on test project I hope this session was very useful for you please try some more examples and if you face any issues let me know in the comment section below I will try to answer you as soon as I can and I will meet you in the next session of test project thank you for watching